On your heater control panel, one of the first things that we should check, which is probably good if it's lighting up and working, is fuse 28, which is a 5 amp fuse that's going to be in the glove box. But for the air distribution, let's see, flat motor is supplied by the M bus. And these are the stepper motors. So here's the heater control panel. Make that a little bit bigger. Alright, and this is the connector that we're going to need to look at behind the heater control panel. Six one three, three pin black connector. And that controls the stepper motors for air distribution. There's the ventilation flap motor. Fresh air recirc flap motor. Fresh air recirc left defroster flap motor and footwell flap motor and all of these are on that same M bus so the question is if you have a problem with all of these stepper motors or most of them it usually means that the problem is going to be in the heater control panel itself Just wrong way shrink this back down So we really have to take a good look at that one connector and hopefully we find that it's disconnected. You know, going to each individual stepper motor, they're actually a little bit difficult to get to. As you can see, there's a stepper motor right there, left hand side, footwell top, the dash would have to be removed. So most likely if this is not resolved by just removing and checking that connector. The problem is most likely in the heater control panel itself and the best. Diagnosing the heater control panel. This is an IHKA, which is an integrated heater control panel on a BMW E46. I have my key on and I have no power to the unit. This is simulated. I removed fuse 28, which is right here in the glove box. It's going to be just to the right of the 10 amp fuse, and that's fed power by this 5 amp fuse here. Go ahead and put that back in. Now if you have a test light, you can also check your fuses using a test light. This is a test light right here, and I just have it grounded right to the door brake. And just to check fuses, just as a general rule of thumb, that's fuse 28. I have power on both sides. I can also use this to check for power to the heater control panel itself. Obviously, if you would have had a bad fuse, the panel would not be running. Removing the heater control panel on a BMW E46, if you have some plastic pry tools, you could pry at the two sides, this side here and this side here, and you can do that to finagle the heater control panel out. Basically, I'm going to use a flat-headed screwdriver, preferably one with a, a thinner shaft. And just slide this in. If I go more towards the top, I'm going to use this to kind of pry outwards and try to finagle that out. You have to overcome the spring tension on the heater control panel. There we go. And once you do get one side removed, come over to the other side. Let's 
same thing. If I come up here, slide my screwdriver in, and I'm just going to use this as leverage and pry that back just carefully. If you're on the, the lip, you can crack that. So if it doesn't want to come, just move down a little bit and find the sweet spot to go ahead and uh, pop that out from the side. So any kind of mark here usually smooths over, it comes out on its own. Just be careful as you take this out. This is actually the spring clips that you're overcoming. You have ones on each side, one here and one over here. And you have some on the bottom as well. Now with the heater control panel loose, you're going to just turn it over and you need to have these connections on the bottom. So I have my heater control panel loose. This is the connector that I'm thinking you might have a problem with. If this has come loose, this is the M bus which goes to the stepper motors. This is the main power feed right here. But if it's lighting up, you know that you're getting good power. I disconnected that M bus wire, which is this one right here. That's on the bottom of the heater control panel. I'm just curious to see what kind of functions I still have. So I have everything on. I get air from my center vent. I hit no air from underneath. And I get no air from my defrost. So I'm not sure if that's the type of problem that you're actually having. If I put it on defrost itself, it does kick on, and I do get more air out of the center vents. And again, I get no air out of the defrost, and no air out of the bottom. I'm going to plug my M bus back in. And I just heard the flaps activate. You can hear him doing a self check. turn my key back on and now I have air coming from the center vent I have air from the bottom underneath if I put defrost on I get a lot of air it shuts off my other two and I get full air up at my center vent So I suspect that there's something either going on with this connector, hopefully you don't have any damage anywhere with the wiring, or maybe this connector is loose, there, right here on the bottom, the shifter's in the way. This connector right here at the very bottom, you can see this is my main power feed. So I'm going to show you how to do a hard reset. Just one thing you could try would be, you could pull that Fuse 28 out and see if that resets it. This is the main power plug. There's a tab right here. You push down on that tab and you slide this connector down. That unlocks it. This is the main power feed for the heater control panel. This red wire with the yellow tracer is most likely going to be my power. So check for any corrosion. Hopefully everything looks good here. And then go ahead and plug it back in. And that basically does a hard reset of the heater control panel. You might want to unplug the connector down here for your M bus. Basically this just pushes in and out. This doesn't actually have any tabs. Just pulls right out. It does have a locator so you can't install it wrong. pushes right in. All 
and then uh, we have these other controllers. I'm sure we have temperature sensors for the um, the outside temperature. Um, it's going to be temperature sensors for the evaporator and uh, things like that. We also have a temperature sensor inside the heater controller itself. We have a little fan that goes. So uh, I would have to take a look at the wiring diagram to see what those other pins go to. But hopefully for your particular problem um, you're going to be able to fix this with that connector on the bottom or a hard reset of the heater control panel. Now if that does not take care of it the problem that you're describing um, with your not getting I just went back and reread your comment that you posted to me and it does sound like you have just air coming out of the center vents themselves which hopefully when you take this apart you're going to find that just that connector on the bottom is loose uh, if it's good most likely your problem is going to be inside the heater control panel itself. It would be very unusual for every single stepper motor to go bad. So unless you actually had damage to the stepper motor wire at some point, um, say your dash had been removed, um, that's the only reason why I would question it. Otherwise, I think the heater control panel itself would be bad. Replacement's very simple. Just remove, take these plugs off, um, make sure that you do get the same one. You'll have a part number on it. Hopefully you have a sticker like this one has. 6411-8382-446. That's on mine. Mine is a 99, so you might actually have a newer heater control panel on your vehicle. And installation, basically you just have to line it up and push it in. And it locks back in. I think the hardest part is just finagling the corners to actually remove it just have to get that right spot so again slide the screwdriver in pry outwards to the side you can use more than one screwdriver maybe one on the top one on the bottom but it's just finding that right spot to get that first clip to let go once that first clip lets go it's usually a lot easier to get the opposite side to come free. Yeah, there it comes already. Once that clip is released. So whichever side you can get off easier, you can see there's no clip over here or here. For this one, the clips are on the top and bottom. I think on some of these, the clips actually might be on the sides, but you still do the same procedure to remove the heater control panel. I hope this is helpful. You have to let me know what you find. If you're lucky, like I said, hopefully just that connector has come loose. Um, and uh, once you plug it back in or a hard reset of the heater control panel might take care of this for you.